What's happening all my happy tool peeps? Thanks for tuning back into the channel today for another episode of Rust Belt's Nifty Tools of the Week. We've got a nice little plethora here to share for you guys. I do apologize for not coming out with a couple of other of these videos in between things. We've been picking up a bunch of projects and we just got time this week to fit another couple of sets in. Got a nice set here for you. Hope you guys enjoy what we've brought. First up on our Nifty Tools of the Week, I picked these up a couple of weeks ago. I might have talked to them about them on a live stream or so, but we've got the Milwaukee Torque Lock Vice Grip Set. So what this actually comes in normally is you've got a two pack, you've got the 4822 3410s and the 4822 3407s. These come in a two pack, usually run you about 20 bucks or so over at the Home Depot. What I like about these is the nice comfort grip that it has to them along with some ribbing to give you guys a little bit of extra grip there to it. Now, I also like the fact that the actual uh, mechanism here on the end that you twist to change the uh, opening of the locking pliers is a very nice little uh, coated, looks like it's a, almost a red tough ceramic coating to it. So we've got that on the end and these things are amazing at grip. They do not wear out nearly as fast as what I'm used to with the standard vice grip brand on the teeth. You know, us as mechanics, we usually end up abusing these quite a bit. You get those nasty uh, little tie rod ends or something that are twisting in there, cramp these on there and get able to get your nut off without these uh, spinning too much. That might be a, been what she said, but we'll have to see. And then a third one that I picked up was the smaller two and a half inch uh, smaller pliers that are the needle nose style. These are the 4822-3406s. You get this set, this pair just by itself, it's gonna run you about 13 bucks. All in all, I'm very happy with these, just pretty much for the fact that the teeth are just as hard as they are and they haven't dulled out over, you know, just the first couple of weeks, which normally would piss you off after buying a, you know, set of pliers. So. Definitely, I would recommend to get you guys a set of these. They seem like they're gonna last quite a long time in my toolbox. Coming to the next tool that we've got on our list is a little specialty tool that I picked up off the Matco truck. This is the Matco MST 1310. It is actually listed as a Duramax water and fuel sensor wrench, and it actually fits pretty much anything. The 12 point in here fits the Duramax side and then a lot of the Ford and Dodge ones, especially the Dodge ones is the six point end here at this end. I picked this one up right for, I think it was on sale for like $34.99. Not sure if anybody else makes them, but it makes my job working on these diesels and the fuel filters quite a bit easier. Usually when I do fuel filter services, I like to take the water and fuel sensor out first, just because if there's any extra sediment and corrosion, I don't want them getting up into the threads up on top. So I will take the water and fuel sensor out first, get that one clean, then I'll take the fuel filter out after that. I've been using this one for about two weeks now and it's a very nice tool, nice coated in a hardened black material and it's held up very well. It's able to help me get these water and fuel sensors out a whole lot easier than dicking them all up with a set of locking pliers. So I would recommend if you guys do a lot of diesel work, make sure you guys get a set or one of these Matco MST 1310 water and fuel wrenches. And last on our list here, we picked up ourselves a Steelman Pro chassis ear set. So this one is the single channel chassis ear set. Uh, let's see if we can find part number 78752 on here. You can see what it comes in with the kit here. Now, first off, I wanna make sure that you guys understand that this kit is a Bluetooth operated uh, little kit and it is actually only compatible for Bluetooth on Windows, 
versions, seven, eight, and I think it'll work on 10, but just, you know, a little bit different, and Android devices. So for you guys who are hoping that this would work for your Apple devices like I did, it does not. So let's get into this one here. What comes into the kit is this right here. I'll grab one other thing here. We've got our Bluetooth actual little dongle here. This is gonna be the heart and soul of this kit. The actual clamp ear is this one right here. This you're gonna charge. It does come with a charger cable and everything. Charges right here on the very end of it. This is going to click right into the end of our little dongle here. And then you're able to have this connect to the Bluetooth device. I have an extra little Android tablet that I end up using for this one, and it makes it pretty nice. Now, if you're using the Windows-based products, they do have a little a USB adapter right here that you're gonna be able to uh, plug into the USB port on your Windows device. I really wanna try and see if this is gonna work on the uh, Snap-on, like the Zeus and the Varus that run those kind of things, but I, I have not yet got a chance to try it. I want to do that one. So that would be what you use for that one. Otherwise, this is just a Bluetooth device itself. You don't need to use that if you're using an Android device. It's got the standard clamp-on style for listening for your you know different chat ears here and then you also have see if we can get it right out of the container here you've got this kind of little microphone here that you can use as well sticking it down into engine bays compartments uh, down into uh, fill tube something along those lines you know just trying to hear different areas as you're going it does come with a kind of a cheaper set of headphones they do work uh, you know but like I said they're pretty cheap then we've got the little adapter right here for the end so you can get tapped onto any other little areas on the microphone. This will go onto that so you're able to just touch different areas of the motor, you know, here and there, trying to find your different vibrations here and there in that set. So I've gotten to use this one a couple of times. It's worked out really well. What I think I'm actually gonna do is Steelman actually makes a set that has like four channels of these and I want to be able to flip them back and forth. The app is pretty easy. Uh, I won't bring that one up for you just because, you know, on Android, it's a little bit different. Windows, it's a little bit different, but the app is actually pretty easy. It brings up the decibel levels. It brings up different channels. You can switch between those channels as you go. You can record it, you can send it. Uh, anything you need to do is all in there through the app. All in all, a really great kit. Now to pick this one up, you can pick this one up at a couple of different sources. On the Matco truck, they wanna charge you like 200, 250 bucks, but in most other places on Amazon and a couple other tool outlets, you can get this kit for right at $150. Now what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, like I said, upgrade to the four channel one, which ends up coming with four of these clamps and four of the Bluetooth devices here on the end. Now, that being the heart of the kit, these are the expensive portions of it. So if you end up getting the four channel set, it's gonna run on you right around 425 to $450. So make sure you guys take that one into account if you guys are looking for a set that is a single channel or additional ones on top of that. I haven't really looked to see if you guys can purchase just the single ones if you wanna do just a two channel, but through the app you're able to add individual channels as you go so it would be easy to add just one other channel or another two channels if you guys wanted to just pick up that extra ones all in all really great kit i definitely would recommend this hopefully soon they come out with the version that works for the apple devices also oh there goes ricer boy cue that in so that is a very awesome kit. Hopefully they'll come out with that one here soon. Uh, I would definitely recommend this one, especially for the price that you guys can get it at for your diagnostics in chassis, uh, vibrations, shakes, and everything that you guys are trying to find. Works absolutely awesome. So now in keeping with good faith with shouting out some of the smaller, lesser known channels, I really wanted to shout out this week is Spider Garage. Spider Garage is one that I came on to via, I believe it was Straight Six Fan's channel. He showed me this channel and 
what these guys do is absolutely fantastic. It's a father and his 16 year old son purchased a car for him and it's an old Monza Spider and it was in kind of distress, we'll put it that way. And for the last year and a half, they've been building this car. He's been taking his son to all of these different engine builders, showing him the process as well as actually getting the car into good running shape. Now they've run into just a little bit of a hiccup. They really wanna get this car done before his 16th birthday and the 2019 Power Tour, the Hot Rod Power Tour which comes up in about uh, 30, 35 days. So they're in need of some help. So if you guys are over in or about the mid uh, Indiana region, check out their channel. They're in need of some mechanical help. If I didn't have the old Duramax going on right now, I'd probably be over there trying to give them a hand. They are an awesome channel. His editing skills are absolutely fantastic. And the content that he brings along with the family atmosphere of showing his son how to do and work on cars and putting an expert's opinion in with each of those different areas is just something that's absolutely fantastic. I definitely would recommend that you go and check his channel out. Well guys, that's about all I've got for you today on the channel. If you guys like this uh, version of the Nifty Tools of the Week, make sure you guys give the video a thumbs up, share it, or just leave a comment and tell me what you guys thought about it. Or if you guys have any other ideas on Nifty Tools that you want reviewed, feel free to drop me a message over at therustbeltmechanic at gmail.com. I also have an Instagram account as well, therustbeltmechanic. I appreciate you guys tuning in to this episode. Thank you, and as always, you guys stay awesome.